Hey everyone, what is up and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Amanda and I create lifestyle, entrepreneurship, and some pop culture on this YouTube channel. And I hope you guys stick around, join the fam, join the squad. We would love to have you here. So as you can see by today's title, I am doing a little July reset routine. I love, love, love watching these. One of my friends, Carter Sullivan, is the first like reset routines I've ever watched and kind of inspired me to do some. I used to do some in the past and then I kind of fell off but I'm bringing them back so if you haven't watched any of Carter's recent routines go check them out they're amazing but I thought I would bring you guys along with me today is July 1st so it is a holiday in Canada so everyone has it off and I was like let me just film a fun little July reset routine I need to do some planning so I need to do some goal setting I need to do some invoices for my business one media agency I need to plan out some videos for YouTube for the month of July along with some reels and TikToks because I really need to dive into that more and I want to do some July book planning I think and see like what books I might want to read this month. So welcome to the channel, welcome to the vlog video and I think we're going to start off by some goal setting because that is my favorite part of kind of reset. I love goal setting, it's so much fun to me. I'm going to get out my notebook and we're going to set some goals for this month. So if you're new here, you wouldn't know, but this is my notebook that I write my like goals in every single month. Did I do one for June though? Like that, I'm not, I didn't do one for June because I was out of town like 90% of the time. So we didn't have any goals for June, which is fine. We are just going to make some for July and move on from it. So I don't know if I had any goals that I had for June because I didn't write them down, but that's okay. We're going to do July goals now. And then next month we'll be able to see if we hit any of them. So let's, let's get right in. Okay, so we got it's a little bit bright in the back, whatever. We got do you hear that construction in the back? We got our July goals written down, so I'll just like go through them with you quickly. So for social media goals, I have hit 8.9K on YouTube. So if you're watching this and you're not subscribed yet, you know what to do. Hit 8.25K on Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram, go do that. I post some fun content on there. Um, I wanna hit 2K on TikTok. I've been trying to post more on TikTok recently because that's where it's at right now. Um, I want to hit 795,000 channel views on this YouTube channel. I want to get one brand deal this month. And then for my financial goals, I want to pay off 75% of my credit cards. And I want to make $150 on AdSense on YouTube this month. And then personal, I have read two books. Um, I want one new Wan Media Services client. And I want to drink more water. So they're pretty like easy, doable Um things and what i like to do like on the back of this i'm going to put like my stats for social media of what i'm at right now so then next month when i go back and see if i hit any of the goals even if i didn't i can like kind of see the growth um that i've had which at the end of the day like any growth is like progress and you should celebrate it um so i'm going to do that and then move on to some more planning and resetting stuff okay so moving on we got some books that i kind of want to read for July. I don't really know exactly which ones I want to read and I think I'm going to do like a little book shopping video soon like bookstore vibe sh stuff um but I have like a Goodreads and I have so many under like my want to read but I'm really feeling like a horror book like soon so I don't really know. There's one called Lock Every Door by Riley Sager or Sager. It's like no visitors, no night spent away from the apartment, no disturbing other residents, all of whom are rich or famous or both. These are the only rules for Jules Larson's new job as an apartment sitter at the Bartholomew, one of Manhattan's most high profile mysterious buildings. Recently heartbroken and just plain broke, Jules is taken in by the splendor of her surroundings and accepts the turns, ready to leave her past behind. As she gets to know the residents and staff of the Bartholomew, Jules finds herself drawn to fellow apartment sitter Ingrid, who, comfort who comfortingly, disturbingly reminds her of her sister she lost eight years ago. When Ingrid confines that the Bartholomew is not what it seems and the dark history hidden beneath its gleaming facade, is starting to frighten her, Jules brushes it off as harmless ghost story. I think that one sounds really interesting. So let me screenshot that. I want to read Daisy Jones and the Six by Taylor Jenkins Reid. It says like a gripping novel about the whirlwind rise of an iconic 1970s rock group and their beautiful lead singer revealing the mystery behind their infamous breakup. 
Everyone knows Daisy Jones and the Six, but they're popu but nobody knows the real reason why they split at the absolute height of their popularity until now. So that's a really interesting read. And I've heard like a lot about it. And I don't know, like there's so many books. There's so many books that I want to read. One of Us is Dead by Geneva Rose. It says, sometimes friendship can be deadly. Meet the woman of Buckhead, a place of expensive cars, huge houses, and, com and competitive friendships. Shannon was once the queen bee of Buckhead, but she's been unceremoniously dumped by Bryce, her political husband. When Bryce replaces her with a much younger woman, Shannon sets out to take revenge. Crystal has stepped into Shannon's old shoes. That one sounds good. Let me screenshot that too, okay. This is kind of how I plan what books like I want to read um, that month. I just kind of go through my Goodreads and like see what I like wrote or marked as like want to read. And then I kind of just go through and see which one's like pulling at me right now. I'm currently reading um, People We Meet on Vacation. It's a bit of a slower read for me. I just like haven't gotten like really into it yet. Um, I heard so much about it, but like I'm still struggling to get through. So yeah. So I think I'm going to get those two books, the ones that I just screenshotted, Lock Every Door by Riley Sager, this one, and then One of Us is Dead by Geneva Rose. That is the books of the month. I'll do a little video when I go book shopping soon because I love book shopping. And now we're going to just go through invoices and I already sent them yesterday, but I kind of want to show you guys if I could, like how I kind of track it. And then later on, my boyfriend's coming over and we're going to do some YouTube planning, some TikTok planning, and some real planning so i'll show you guys that part later okay so if you didn't know i'm at the moment full-time with my agency um one media services agency and i'm full-time content so that's like my two main sources of income right now so i send out my invoices i'm not going to show you because it shows people's personal information but i send out my invoices through paypal invoicing it's just so much easier then like I'm able to track it on my end. My clients are able to track it on their end. It's just like a win-win situation. And it's just easy because then everything gets dropped into your PayPal. And then you just literally deposit that into like the bank account that you have. And then there we go. It's easy. It's simple. But obviously you have to like track your income and track the money that you get. So I'm going to try and find, where is it? My boyfriend made me these like, this like Google sheet that I can like, track my income track like who paid me who didn't blah 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 here i have like tax deductions so this like will track my business expenses so purchases subcontracts advertising meals membership subscriptions supplies accounting management admission fees transportation travel phone whatever so that's here and then i can't show you at the top because it kind of says like all the money i make but i have like a freelance income section so it says amount billed then taxes to pay. I put like 30% each pay aside for taxes just, you know, to have some there. Um, I obviously won't owe that much, but it's better to have more put aside than not enough and then have to take it out, you know. And then I have like take home, so like my final amount that I take home. And then under that, it's going to say total deduction. So then when I go in at the end during tax season and I put in how much money I'm made that year i have like my deductions that i could take out too um but then i'll show you this side here i have project client name so i'll put the name of the client in this section the number that i have for the invoice on paypal will be in this section the date and then the total amount in canadian that i'm getting paid then how much money i'm putting towards taxes how much i take home and then if they paid or not these are all paid that's kind of how i track everything it just makes it much simpler i'm a very very visual person so if i don't see it i won't understand it so thank you chris for making me this so that's kind of how i track everything so i'm just going to go in and manually like input the invoices i sent out this month and then kind of see who paid who didn't and then usually what i do is if they don't pay within like three days i send a reminder because sometimes we just forget or sometimes the email gets lost within our inbox. So I'm gonna go do that now. And then I will talk to you guys when Chris is here and we're planning. So when I'm planning for videos, I usually go on like channels that are similar to mine and I look at like the videos that they've done and kind of see like how I can put my own twist to it. And then I also go through my subscription box, which honestly, I don't spend too much time in here, but I look through that too and see like videos that I can do as well.
I wanted to say to the vlog that Amanda is the hardest working person I've ever met in my entire life. Like she works so hard. Like she literally said, come over and let's do work because she wants to, she, she, she likes doing work. So uh, you should subscribe to her because she wants to hit 10,000. And if you do, I might give you a, a million bells in Animal Crossing if that's your thing. But if not, I'm calling the Scarlet Witch on you. I wrote out all these video ideas that um, I saw from other creators or that like I saw videos that gave me inspiration for different videos that I can do for my channel. So I wrote all these out and now I'm gonna try and figure out some reels and TikToks that I can do. We are now brainstorming ideas for TikTok and reels because I'm slacking on that. There's cake in the corner. <laughs> the face of someone who watches a weird TikTok. Hi. Hi. Okay, tell me some TikTok and reel ideas. Um, I think you should do for like reels, like how you did that one that was like the airplane. It was like, if you're seeing this, like this is like the moment like for you. Because I think those things do really well on reels because um, people can share them like on Instagram stories and stuff like that more but I think you can do things like when you're making coffee like in like those like clear tall glasses mm -hmm. like putting your coffee together and like, like putting aesthetic like, nice things music. yeah like do some stuff like that but then also like if you want to do like a bit of the day things or like things that are like lifestyle like I think you do really well with that so I think the only thing you could do is try yeah thanks yeah <laughs> so I got a iced mocha Iced white mocha with oat milk. What did you get? I had a matcha tea latte. I was expecting you to turn that to me. <laughs> okay, guys. So I forgot to end off the vlog, but I got my planning done. So I got video ideas, cooking. I planned out some, but I didn't want to show you guys what's going up when because I kind of want it to be like, you know, little fun videos popping up here and there. I picked out the books that I'm going to read. I sent all my invoices and all those fun things. So that's kind of what I do every single month to kind of just plan the month, see what's next, what's in store, get paid and just, you know, feel like I'm starting a month on like a good note and like a fresh note and just like powering through so sorry my dog in the back <laughs> so comment down below what you guys do at the end of every month to prepare for the month ahead of you i would love to know maybe i'll add more things into my little routine that i got going but if you guys enjoyed this video please give it a big i talk with my hands so much i just realized that but please give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it subscribe if you're new here and you aren't a part of the fam yet we would love for you to join and yeah thank you guys again for watching and i'll see you next time bye guys